Hello, beautiful people, Supercup here, and thanks for tuning in on today's brand new video. So yeah, we're going to be covering a Star Wars book. <laughs> and yes, I'm quite aware that this particular issue came out back in March. But you know what, people? I was reading this the other day, and I figured, you know what? I love Star Wars. I love General Grievous. And I'm also in charge of this channel. So yeah, I'm going to do what I want. So let's do it. Let's talk about Age of Republic, General Grievous, issue number one. And so this one shot is written by Jody Hauser and drawn by Luke Ross. And the story opens up on the planet of Ledevi, where we see a young Jedi Padawan running away for his life while his master stays behind in an attempt to hold off General Grievous. Unfortunately for the Jedi Master, General Grievous was well trained in the Jedi arts by Sith Lord Count Dooku. And with Dooku known to be one of the best lightsaber duelists across the galaxy, you can bet money that Grievous is quite comfortable wielding a lightsaber. So basically, she doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> As Grievous ignites a fourth lightsaber into the Jedi's stomach, killing her. Afterwards, Grievous manages to catch up and it's here where the young Jedi stands his ground and tries his best. <laughs> yeah, Grievous smokes his pickle. Like a champ, Grievous then notices that the Padawan dropped a holopad, which reveals coordinates to a Jedi temple on the planet. So naturally, General Grievous is curious and proceeds to investigate. And as we come across the outside perimeter, Grievous is sure to remind us, the reader, that Jedi walls and walls in general aren't enough to keep the one and only General Grievous at bay. Once inside the compounds of the temple, Grievous comes across a hall, erected with what one can only presume to be ancient statues of Jedi Master. It's here where we are reminded that General Grievous also possesses statues of himself prior to having his cybernetic body. And because the General despises the Jedi, he quickly destroys the statues as he makes his way forward. Following that, the book becomes a somewhat Star Warsy version of Raiders of the Lost Ark as Grievous sets off several of the temple's traps. But because of Grievous' mad cybernetic skills, he's able to avoid a most painful of deaths. Eventually, General Grievous reaches the center of the temple and is met with a tower of green energy. Grievous assumes that it's within this energy construct where the temple's secrets are located. Therefore, the droid commander jumps through, only to immediately find himself floating in deep space. Mere Jedi mind tricks, one could say. And this is where we get to the meat and potatoes in this issue, as a voice begins communicating with General Grievous, essentially telling Grievous on how much he sucks, and that by placing his body with machine in hopes of making himself stronger, it instead makes him smaller. And boy oh boy is Grievous pissed at how a ghost spirit essentially dealt him an incredible amount of disrespect. And it's with that where we follow Grievous miles outside Inside the Jedi Temple, where he radios to his ship the Invisible Hand, ordering crew to fire upon the temple. And soon, Grievous sits back as he watches the Jedi Temple get destroyed. However, Grievous isn't finished just yet, as he spends the rest of the entire day watching what's left of the temple burn. And once Grievous is satisfied, he makes his way down, but announced to Grievous, the energy that resides within the temple is shown to be still active. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that was Age of Republic General Grievous, issue number one. And I found myself pleasantly surprised with this issue's quality. I enjoyed that the story possesses very little dialogue, and instead uses the technique in highlighting Grievous' thoughts and expressions through his eyes. Definitely an effective approach for an issue that focuses solely on a character whose face is covered, and who also happens to be the only character shown throughout the issue's entirety. Seeing all the callbacks to Grievous' past for nice, especially the way the malevolent general looked previously to his accent, you also really get the hint that though Grievous portrays himself as this, I'm General Grievous, I'm awesome. Mentally, in reality, Grievous is actually ashamed, ashamed of his physical appearance. And because of his cybernetic body, it's quite possibly, in fact, the sole reason as to why the Jedi and the Republic fear him. Overall, I'm going to give Age of Republic General Grievous issue 1 an 8 out of 10. Fun stuff. I'm definitely interested in checking out more Star Wars. And that wraps up today's video. If you guys like my content, please hit that subscribe button, as well as hit the bell symbol, so that the world of comics is never missed out. Peace, guys.